rear brakes on a 2008 Hyundai Tiberian four-wheel disc. We're in the back here. Got uh, five 21 millimeter lug nuts. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. See the wheel on the ground there. <clears throat> you want to jack this up and put some safety stands underneath it. Do what you need to do to protect yourself so the car does not fall down on you or anybody or do damage to the vehicle. So cut it off. We've got these uh, 14 millimeter bolts back here. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. I've already broken them loose with my wrench. <clears throat> Looks like maybe 16 millimeter nut right here if everything seems to turn but we're not having that issue right now just take these nuts off right here and she will slide the caliper off maybe you need a screwdriver and pry it off a little bit you can see it's almost coming off boom I'm gonna use a little brake clean and clean this up a little bit <clears throat> pads just slide off like so. <clears throat> now we replace brakes, pads, and rotors at the same time. These are awfully smooth and a do-it-yourself or could uh, just throw new brake pads on, collapse the piston, slide it back together if you'd like. A Phillips screw is holding on the uh, rotor. Might need to take a hammer to it once the caliper mounting brackets off and tap it off to replace the caliper. Uh, it feels like maybe a 14 millimeter bolt on the back for the bracket as well, and yes. So again, lefty loosey, righty tighty for the bolts, and we'll break those bolts loose and uh, we'll take that off so we can get the rotor off. Got the caliper bracket here. Just want to make sure these caliper slides move freely and uh, as necessary, maybe put some lubricant on them. They look pretty good, but we can put a little bit more of this, uh, get some purple lubricant on them. So they're sliding nice. And you may or may not get replacement clips, these little pieces in here with your brake pads. You might get new ones and just go ahead and replace those little pieces in there. So that should be it for your uh, caliper mount. So we've got a rear brake caliper. We need to collapse this piston so we can put the new brake pads in. I uh, can have success with the needle nose pliers. We get in here. Whoa. We'll get in here in these notches and push and turn. And a good caliper. Uh, it's in good shape. Shouldn't have too much problem doing it that way. Just basically turn it in until it doesn't go in any farther. And then you'd be done. The other option is uh, you can buy a universal brake caliper tool. It's got these special notches on it and it'll fit in these notches on there. And then you can have use the tool to collapse. So that's available probably on Amazon if you choose to. There might be a link in the description. I'm sure there's a link that says uh, anything anything.php and that'll take you to Amazon and uh, buy any tool you need there pretty much. So collapse it that way. I don't necessarily use recommended channel locks but I like to use the needle nodes. And we'll just keep turning that in until it's flush, flat. And if this rubber starts to twist, I would recommend getting a little uh, baby screwdriver and get it in here and working along the edge a little bit. The piston's collapsed now, but there's a little ridge in the piston that this sits in, and you can take your screwdriver, work it around. You really don't want this twisting and binding, so I had to do it on this one, and you might have to do it as well. That should be good enough to free it up from sticking the rubber to the piston. 
and if this rubber seems to be mostly missing or it's got a many lots of tears in it certainly should consider replacing it because dirt and gunk and stuff is getting in there that can cause that piston to seize and not work properly and or leak so we're at the point we have our new brake rotor on the Phillips screws tight and remounted the caliper and uh, lubricated the bushings that we the slides we talked about uh, my uh, on the passenger side here's my inner brake shoe pad sorry pad is the right term stick this in the groove Hopefully there like that and there we are just like that. And we've got our caliper piston pushed in like we talked about. And we're gonna slide it on. If it doesn't slide on, you might just have to turn the piston in a little farther. But uh, there, it's going on. We just put our two other 14 millimeter bolts in here. Try and wiggle this a little bit. Wiggle the caliper as needed. You should be able to turn this in by hand. For the most part, always start your bolts by hand. Ooh. So we'll just finish these, get these two bolts started and there we go. Both bolts are started and we will uh, tighten them up. And then uh, put the wheel on, and you want to pump up the brakes before you go anywhere because the pedal will probably go lower to the floor than you expect. So make sure you pump them three, four, five times until they feel firm, and then you can go ahead and drive it. And that should uh, be everything you need for your rear disc brake pad and brake rotor removal and replacement. Good luck to you.